Welcome back to Story Retold. We are continuing with Marcella Moon, and I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm going to bumble around until I figure it out. Um, so we were just solving, if we look at our inventory here, we have the press pass, we talked to the guy, um, we're trying to confirm alibis, Ooh, and we've got this. How to send an emergency distress single, which, which, which alludes to a puzzle but we haven't had any need to send an emergency stress, distress signal, stress signal. Um, and then we also have this. We, it seems like we've got clues here to puzzles that we have not been able to solve yet. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, we checked out Stephanie Liu's alibi. That's, that's good. Now, Brad Delmar at the meeting Angel Fernandez giving a public speech, Kaya Bowman at the Marine Center, and Lydia Delmar in her study. So I'm wondering, if, to check out these alibis, I'm wondering if we need to... What's this? Okay, I'm wondering if we need to go and cross-examine uh, the suspects and try to um, corroborate... Is that the word? Corroborate uh, their alibis? You know, can you can you account for whoever um, being where they said they were? Maybe. Oh. Okay, so Stephanie is gone, and we solved this puzzle to read some of the guests, survey guests. Oh, we've got more time here now, huh? Okay, that opens. There's no sound, huh? Interesting. This rotates that one. That rotates that. Okay, so we're trying to connect. No. There we go. Okay, that's looking promising. Oh, did we miss one? Oh, we did. Oh, we ran out of time. <laughs> okay, well, she's here, so let's talk to her. How do you like running the Four Sands? How sands? do you like running the Four Sands? Oh, it's great, especially with the new renovations that are being planned. Things are going to be getting exciting around here very soon. Renovations? I've slowly been convincing the Delmars to fix this hotel up. When I started managing the hotel, it was an old dump. Personally, I vote for fresh, modern, breezy decor to bring in the modern business and leisure traveler. Is this something the Delmars want to do? Yeah, well, admittedly, I think Brad is more interested than Jack ever was. I can say a lot of good things about Jack Delmar, but he was never much for change. He liked things the way he liked them, and that's why this hotel hasn't seen many upgrades in more than a decade. That makes sense. I think there's a problem with my- Thank you. Okay, that's just to get her away. Uh, I'm wondering if I should go talk to Brad again. I don't know if there's something important in here that I need to look at that I totally missed. I'm gonna say no, if I don't get this right, then I'm just gonna move on and go talk to the other characters. Okay, that looks good. Okay. All right, so these were the phone surveys. I'm not seeing anyone that would be around the 6 p.m. time frame um, when the time of the death happened. Because if, if these were sent, maybe you should call Stephen Long. Uh, my notes are around here somewhere. I'll just write down a new note. Okay. Okay, okay. 
Uh, Stephen Long. Triple five, fifteen, fifteen. Aircon in room 206. It might be a problem. Okay, I guess that was... That's all it's going to let me look at? I thought there were more, but maybe not. Alright. Um, I want to go back and talk to Brad. We'll see what he has to say about uh, renovations of the hotel. Dive Center Hotel Marina. Yes, Marina. I still don't know what this is all about. Okay. I I thought I clicked on the red last time. I have no idea what the password combination is supposed to be. Is it red black? I honestly don't know because I accidentally figured it out last time. So I'm wondering if I need to actually solve this. I don't understand what the color scheme is supposed to be or if this is the actual clue here. I have no idea what this is. It's not a rail fence cipher. It's not a Caesar shift. It doesn't seem to be a color cipher. And I don't know if I'm supposed to be cross-checking with my current notes because it doesn't seem to match. Huh. It's, is it an unscrambled? Is this backwards? No, it's not a backwards alphabet. Do I have to swap within the... Oh, are they like... Are they anagrams? What has X in the... In a word? I don't even know, because there's not enough vowels to do anything in here. Can't swap them around. No idea. I'm not giving enough clues here. And uh, trying the Caesar shift cipher doesn't seem to work either because I don't, it didn't make sense shifting one or two ways or fl flip flopping the alphabet. Is there someone I can talk to about that? So how did I do it? I have no idea how that happened. So I better make use of my... <gasps> He's gone! <gasps> the math! The, 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 the... Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Did I take a screenshot of... Oh my goodness, my contacts are a bother. I gotta find my actual notes. Where's my Mar Marcella Moon book? Okay, here's my actual Marcella Moon notebook. Alright, so what we're trying to do is solve for each of these animals. They're each representing of something, so... I didn't take a screenshot of it. Oh dear. So, to figure out the password, though. Oh, so it was, um... The puzzle back at the house was clownfish, turtle, pinkfish, plus the same combination. Clownfish turtle, pink, clownfish, turtle, pink. And the answer was triple turtles. Turtle, turtle. So I quote my inner best from Shattered Medallion. Turtle. So we're trying to figure out what these, uh, what digits these represent. In order to know what they represent here, and I can enter in the combination. So we need to solve the puzzle first, which you're not seeing on my screen. So I might have to do a little bit of uh, fast forwarding in my video 
before I solve this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start start thinking. Okay, well, let's try 444. If the turtle is worth 444, So we need to eat, have each row equal 148. Oh. Well then. So that means clownfish would be one. See, now I'm going back to my old method here. Uh, the clownfish would be one. The turtle would be worth four. And the pink fish would be eight. So let's try that. Uh, 140. No, oh, come on. 148. That's it. That is the solution. So the turtle is worth four. That was the big thing. So clownfish is one. Turtle is four. Pink fish is eight. That is the solution. Oh, Brad Hart Hart. I have seen the heart before. This looks like a tablet. Brad, heart, heart. And then we have blue here. So are we, this is a two part password. Oh my goodness. Okay. Thinking back on the triangle puzzle. I don't know what Brad would be significant of. Looking at the triangle puzzle, which doesn't make any sense numbers wise, I'm not sure what pyramid pattern this is called. Because I've seen this pattern before in real life, but it's been years. Let's take a look at our inventory. This doesn't help, does it? No. Huh. Brad? What does heart heart mean? Yeah, I don't get what that puzzle is. Um, or at least the clues from before. So you know what? I'm, I'm going to go back. I'm going to save my game right here and then go back. Because I don't want to have to try to figure out the lock in the front. Although that would be a good thing to solve, huh? I'm going to fast forward you up to the point of when I solve it, okay? So if we start this way, it's going this way. Left to right, eight minus three is five. Five times the one up here, which is four, equals 20. So it's minus times. Seven minus three is four. Four times three is 12. So 12 minus three is nine. Nine times four is, oh gosh, uh, 36. The heart is worth 36. That's my speculation. At least that's the only logical sequence that I can come up with. Um, I don't have any other clues to lead me on. All right, and I have no idea. I don't know what the answer to this is. I guess that was it. Okay, so 148 is this first one. Um, Brad Hart Hart. So what does that mean? 36, 36? It is, it's just 36, 36. Okay, great. Um, oh, messages, text messages? B, probably for Brad. Usually that's on the flip side, but okay. Yeah, I'm pretty much ready to sell the biz. The hotel was left to me in the will, so it's going to get signed into my name soon. If you're serious, make me an offer. Who's S? Stephanie? I thought you might be more am, am, amenable. 
to selling than Jack was. I'll have to get back to you, but I'm definitely interested in buying. Who's R? It was good to see you at the meeting last Thursday. I'm really sorry to hear about your dad. If you want to talk about it, we can always grab a drink after our Lisksif. You know where to find me every Thursday at 5.30. Sounds like Brad was at the Lisksif meeting last Thursday, like he said. Yeah, okay, so that validates his alibi. Oh my goodness. No distress signals active. How it works. Send and receive distress signals on your boat using the instructions provided in your welcome kit. Users on your account can see the exact GPS location of your boat within the app whenever a distress signal is active. You can also use the mobile app to, act to deactivate power to the boat as long as it is within tw a 25 mile radius. Okay. Okay. Well, we've got a distress signal. Great, okay. Uh... Okay, we have checked off these alibis. This guy was giving a public speech. Um, let's go, whoop, let's go back to the Delmore house and question the two people we can there. Okay, who do we have at this navigation point? No, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Oops. It is, there's a left side here, loading. What was your husband like? What was your husband like? In his early years, he was a wonderful man. Full of life, always inquisitive, searching for the best in people. In recent years, well, maybe I'm not the person to ask. Ooh. Why is that? Suffice to say, our marriage had become complex. In what way? You're direct. I like that. But a marriage is too complicated to sum up in a few sentences. But if I had to try, <sighs> I'd say that marriage is a very delicate thing. To truly spend your life with someone and continue to grow together side by side is a lucky occurrence. Not only does it require luck, but it requires a lot of communication. And effort at both parties. Unfortunately, at some point or another, Jack and I stopped seeing eye to eye. We began to do more things separately. And worse, we stopped talking like we used to. That's how the divide got bigger. How's your novel coming along? There are good days, and there are bad days. Today's a good day. I had the most magnificent dream last night. I was swimming at the cove, and a beautiful mermaid swam up to me and beckoned me to follow her. I stuck my head under the water, and as I swam, I saw all these different shades of blue reflected by the sunlight. What's the story going to be about? It's a romance novel between a werewolf and a mermaid. It may sound silly, but I've heard paranormal fiction is selling like hotcakes right now. I guess people are looking for a way to escape how serious their lives have become. I know that's what it does for me, at least. Anyhow, I'm having a lot of fun writing it. Excuse me, I was just blowing my nose. Congested. Blech. We still don't know what this is all about. Uh, I should probably take like a picture for myself. Hang on. Or make a note. Okay, we've got... I'm going to call that a seal. Goldfish. Cute octopus. Wave, shark, whale. I probably shouldn't mess. Yeah. All right, that was the clue that we had earlier. Oh, someone's asking. Someone's texting about my live stream. That's funny. Okay. Um, uh, let's talk to. I probably 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go over here. We talk to... What's her name? Stephanie? No. Oh, wow. Lots to talk about. Can you tell me more about your dad? Dad was defined by his hotel business, which he built from the ground up. It was his favorite thing to talk about. That and the ocean. When he wasn't working, he was always out in the water in some form or another. He loved his boat, the little Lucy. And he was a great diver. He tried to get me and my brother just as interested in the water as he was. It worked on my brother, but me, <laughs> not so much. Dad was like the glue of our family. He could always get mom laughing, and he always had something to teach me and my brother. I miss him. Oops. What can you tell me about your parents' relationship? Why was it so cold towards the end? I never really knew. I guess it's been for the past few years or so. They weren't mean to each other or anything, just you could feel this tension whenever they were in the same room. Why did they stay together? My guess? Mainly because my dad was still in love with my mom. Uh. He'd always hoped they could work things out. I'm not sure why she stayed. Maybe because she didn't know what else to do. Were you at home last Thursday evening? No, I was at school. Can you remind me when your dad's accident was? Mm, last Thursday. Yeah. I'll follow up with you when I have something. Okay, thanks. Oh goodness, that's very hot. Okay, I think we totally forgot to uh, talk to, was it Kaya at the dive center? Uh, asking about, uh, I wanted to ask about alibis and stuff, but I feel like there might be something else to inquire after. What was her alibi again? Take a look. Um, dive center is right here. Who ha- Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Can we snoop her stuff? No, wait. <gasps> ah, volunteer timesheet. I didn't even think to look at that hotspot. Okay, um, Kaya. Kaya, um, I don't know what date Thursday was. I really don't know. But Kaya was on the 26th. She, she checked out at 6.05. On the 25th, she checked out at 4.15. Okay, I guess this is important information. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, so is there someone that we can talk to to confirm that her date was, after all, correct? So Lydia was in her study. How come we can't ask the siblings about her being there? Well, I can't ask him because he was actually at the meeting. She claims she was in her study, but no one else saw her, right? Welcome to the La Fortuna Marine Center. What can I help you with? I found your displays really interesting. Yes, the ocean is quite a fascinating place. You could spend your entire life studying it and still only understand a small number of the secrets it holds. Yeah, I believe that. Although, some of those secrets are being destroyed. Hopefully we will be able to preserve them before it's too late. You mean the coral reefs? Yes, for one, this planet is way overpopulated. We are no longer cooperating for survival. We are competing. Inevitably, that leads some people to prioritize themselves over the other people and places around them. That's one reason the La Fortuna Marine Center exists. To educate people about our oceans so that they will feel a sense of duty to protect them. Doesn't diving contribute to the destruction of coral reefs? It doesn't have to. Here at the center, we teach the principles of low-impact diving. 
We teach divers to respect marine life and give them the skills needed to avoid damaging fragile underwater ecosystems. We're not a day tour company, we're a training center. We recognize that by teaching more people to dive, we're giving more people access to these sensitive habitats, but the hope is that our students will be good stewards of the ocean who take an active interest in their conservation. In addition, we are a nonprofit and 50% of our revenue goes directly towards our ocean conservation programs. This sounds interesting. I wish I had time to take a course, but I'm not sure how long I'll be in town. We're on a waiting list right now. Give me your name and number and I can add you. Sure, why not? It's Marcella Moon, 555-1216. Marcella, that's a good name. It means warlike or strong. Also, Mar, that means sea in many languages. One could say you were destined to be a defender of the sea. I've added you to the list. How long have you been working here? Gosh, I don't know. A long time. I'm just a volunteer though. I prefer it that way. It means more the money the center makes can go towards conservation. There are a lot of other volunteers at the center, but I'm here as often as I can be. What is it you do at the dive center? I'm a dive instructor. I teach classes and private lessons and help maintain the equipment. I also help at the front desk on a volunteer basis. I'm here so much that the dive center is like a second home to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got to talk to her about more things, so that's good. Who else have we not talked to yet? We can't confirm this, can we? Let's go talk to Angel again at the office. Okay, let's see what he has to say, if anything. Okay, nothing. Nothing, nothing to hotspot, nothing at all. Okie doke. Well, I wonder if we can get a hold of Brad. Dive center, Delmar House office, cove, hotel, marina. Oh, I wonder if we can confront Stephanie about her uh, communication with Brad about selling the, or buying, buying the hotel, really. A little birdie told me that you were thinking about buying the four sands. Ooh, that must have been Brad. Yes, I am. I really think I could make it work. I've been around long enough to understand how the business operates, and I've got some ideas on how to improve the property. Was Jack ever interested in selling the property? No, but the circumstances have changed. See, the rest of the Delmar family isn't interested in operating a hotel, but I am, and I have the money saved. That'd be a lot of money. What's that necklace you're wearing? It's meant to be an alua. It's a type of fish found back home in Hawaii. My family is really into fishing, and the alua is one of the most prized catches in the islands. Mm, just like in uh, Nancy Drew, the creature of Kapu Cave. Okay, I'm wondering if we need to phone call a couple of these other people, but I don't see what that gets us because we've already confirmed her alibi. Oh, what? Oh, just an app. Yeah, I don't really know what to do. I don't know how to get Lydia away from her desk to snoop that space. And uh, I'm wondering if I should talk to Brad again. Can't be every other. There's only three in here. Maybe that's the only thing we're looking for. Yellow. Green. Oh, I see, I see. Hang on, hang on. So. Okay, I think what we're looking for is the colors spelled out. Every other letter. Y-E-L-L-O. W, yellow, G, R, E, E, N, green, P, U, R, P, L, E, purple. Okay, okay. Yellow, 
green, purple, I'm writing it down, purple, and then red. Got it, okay. Yellow, green, purple, red. Yeah. Can we talk to Brad? Please? Please? No. Okay. Well, hey, we solved something we didn't really need to solve. <laughs> What's this? Oh, the boat looks slippery. Other boats. Well, I don't know what to do now. We solved a thing, so that's great. Okay, I had to step away and actually go and ask for help. Um, thank you, Renee, on Facebook for helping me out uh, with noting... Oops. That this date is the, the same date as the death. Friday, April 30th. Uh, so that means April 29th was Thursday? If they mean last Thursday? Unless it's like the week before. But the point is, uh, we need to actually head back to... I totally missed a certain hotspot. When examining Kaya's... Kaya's, uh, volunteer login. Oh, got something on my shirt. Papers. I was supposed to click on something on the actual date of the death, which, uh, so this was when they said that's Friday, and then this was Thursday. Hmm. No, okay, so be what, seven days prior to that? It looks like Kaya was here at the time of Jack's death. There, the 22nd. Great. Okay, so we've checked up everyone except for Lydia. She cannot be accounted for, so I'm wondering if we need to go and confront her about this. Where we just came from. I'm not entirely sure what else hmm. can be done. There's just one alibi I haven't been able to confirm yet. Yeah, let's go to the Delmar house. Did Lydia do it? Hmm. She's gone now. Let's snoop. Oh, I love this view. This is a good view. I need a key. A key? There's no keyhole. Okay. Jack, Lydia. Uh, let's look at Jack. Oh, wait. I don't know what his password is. How do I back out? Okay. Oh. ODC recruitment draft. Oh boy. Oh, we got reading here. Public missions, ocean cleanups, organized donations for reputable charities, presence at relevant community meetings, past secret missions, selection of past successes. Impersonated Dr. Daniel Tran, forged documents certifying that 33 acres of coastal land should be protected due to rare flora and fauna. Here, let me turn off my camera real quick so you can see. Current missions. Need to recruit members who have some tolerance for risk. That's the end of the paper, okay. Okay, reminder. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is looking familiar. Oh, I can't open my inventory right here. So what we need to be looking at is uh, that pink symbol, which I'm quite familiar with. It's in Photoshop. We use it a lot. Uh, blue finger green Flourish. Yellow backwards facing downward. Uh, yellow, 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 yellow. Purple swoop. Scroll. 
and a cyan finger. All right, what is it? Okay. So we have to enter something here, huh? It doesn't seem right. Yeah, well, we need to open this up. Okay, so... Oh, we're getting the combination. That's what's happening here. All right, so first, the pink one that goes like this, the answer is porpoise. Rock. The green downward one right here is tonight. Yellow, um, downward soup right here at. Okay, purple flourish. Oh, is it that one or that one? I think it's this one. Low. In the cyan finger. Tied. So it's, it reads, Porpoise Rock, tonight at low tide. Ooh. I need a key. Go away. All right, so if we enter in this. Porpoise Rock at low tide. Check. It doesn't seem right. What? I need to do some more digging. Oh, I forgot tonight. Oops. Here we go. Okay. Porpoise rock tonight at low tide porpoise rock tonight at low tide i need to find out where porpoise rock is okay um i need a key i don't have a key so let's back up a little bit and can we take a look at the uh, safe thingy that's up here i probably shouldn't mess yeah, I don't know what that is. So, where is Porpoise Rock? Can we ask our contact about that? Where is she? Yes. Do you know where Porpoise Rock is? Sure. It's a spot below the cliffs at the cove. Why? I need to get there. Can you tell me how? Of course. Here's what you have to do. Whoa, nice picture. Ooh. Person one, we need to take a harder stance. We can't just sit here and let these politicians walk all over us. Person two, there's an upcoming city council vote. Now that our inn is dead, what are we going to do? Person one, we need to do something bigger. We need to send a message. Person three, like what? Person one. Well, if there were an unfortunate accident at the building site, that would set back construction of the terminal indefinitely. That would buy us time to figure out a way to get the project canceled altogether. What do you mean an accident? How about a fire? I don't like where this is going. We've never discussed anything like this before. Jack used to- Hey, I'm in charge now, and we're going to do things differently. Can we finish talking about this later? It reeks of sea lion crap in here. Agreed. Can we not meet in here- can we not meet in here anymore, please? Fine. Meeting adjourned. Let's get out of here. Someone's coming. I'm out of here. Okay, so we overheard a secret meeting that sounded very sketch. Now what do we do, though? So I left in a hurry and came back to fill you in. Oh. Wow, it... Sounds like there has been a lot going on recently. A cruise ship terminal, a potential eco-terrorism plan, and Dad was involved somehow. I guess there is a good reason to believe he might have been murdered after all. It's possible. I'm definitely starting to uncover some interesting secrets. I'll continue to investigate until I can get to the bottom of this. Thank you for everything you've done so far. My pleasure. I think I'm going to call it a night, but I'll touch bases with you tomorrow. Sounds good. Talk to you soon. 
Okay, now what's gonna happen? She's gonna call it a night, but it's still kind of daytime, so. Uh, now what do we do? Do we talk to everybody? Do we talk to the chatty, chatty Stephanie? Super chatty. I wonder if Lydia will be back. Hmm. Uh, how about the marina? What was the password in here first? Maybe Brad is back and we can talk to him. It was something like... Yeah, like that. Well, he's gone. Okay. Eh, I'm not interested here. Okay. Do do do. Let's talk to this guy. He's a quick talk. Yep, real fast. <laughs> Brad's gone. We can talk to Kaya. Maybe? Welcome to the Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go back to uh, Stephanie and Lydia. Did I recognize any of those person's voices? As Marcella. Okay, she is still gone, which makes me wonder, how do I get in here? And is there something else on here that I totally missed? Um, I don't know what Jack's password was. Mantis always looks so funny with the way their mouths are right down here. No idea. No idea. I need a key. I don't have a key. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Wonder where she went. Inspiration? You went looking for inspiration, perhaps? There's a locked drawer in your parents' study. Do you know where I can find a key? Hmm. Check the bottom of the pencil cup. Ooh, yes, thank you. I'll follow. Okay. Oh, somebody messaged me. I don't need to reply. It's fine. Okay, pencil cup. Glad she knew. That does give me a jump start in the right direction. Do, 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 do. Uh -huh. Yay! What does that say? Duplication prohibited. Here's something interesting. Oh! The S is double underlined. And the W is underlined. Um... I wonder if we have to unscramble this, or is it a, source, a cipher? Hang on, let me write these letters to- oh my goodness. Let me turn this off. There we go. I'm expecting a package, so that's why I've got my phone turned on. Alright, we've got A, H, C, E, S, with two lines underneath, L and W with one line underneath. I'm sure these letters mean something. Of course, okay. Does the S mean it's used twice or three times and the W means twice, I suspect? Uh, is this an anagram that we have to unscramble? 
No clicking and dragging. How do we do this? Uh, do we type in here? Okay. Maybe we do type. Is there something to spell out? Zero slash 25. I'm, I'm wondering if that's how many attempts that we have. A and E are the only vowels. Okay. Whales? Oh, how many words we get to use? Oh, okay. Hang on. Words relate to something I've seen before. Okay, how does that help us though? Is it this? So I'm wondering. If we're only using the W's and the S's? Oh, we just hit all three of them and then open and then send the center. Oh, okay. Journal. Here we go. Hotel tax from eight to 12%. He voted against that tax. Okay. He or she, whoever this writer is. Lucy, the dog left. Oh, she grew. Okay. Okay, evidence against liking Angel. We don't like Angel now. Stephanie threatened to quit. Lydia's slipping away. Okay, so this is Jack's writing. He's tired of activism. He likes to enjoy his last active days out and about in his boat or relaxing at home. He loves Lydia. Okay, this is when they went for pasta at DeFrangio's. That's when he, oh, okay, the end, okay, okay. That's when he proposed. Nice. All right. Uh, now what? We've got that information. Can we talk to Stephanie about what we found? I'll follow up with... Okay. Not sure. Do we need to follow up with DeFrangios? I don't see a need for that. We don't have any new evidence yet, do we? For... This must be Jack and Lydia. DeFrangios. Jack mentioned this in his diary. 1996. Okay, March 26, 1996. This must be different. Oh, that must be his... Oops. I didn't mean to leave. That might be his password. Hang on. 03-26-1996. Oh, Let's give it a try. Okay. Um, 03 26 1996. Jack was planning to meet someone at the boat at 5, an hour before he died. Who is Dolphin? Dolphin? Okay. Who's n who goes by the name Dolphin? Dolphin. Ah, wait, she's here now. What? 
you know who Dolphin is? Lydia, do you know who Dolphin is? What are you talking about? It's very important that you tell me the truth. I followed you to Porpoise Rock. Her? And I know about your secret organization. And I really need to know who Jack was talking to the day he died. Hold on. You've been following me? Why would you do that? I can explain more later, but please, I have reason to believe your husband met up with someone named Dolphin the day he died, and that he might have been murdered. I need more info to be sure. <sighs> All right. What do you need to know? I told you, I need to know who Dolphin is. Can you start by telling me about your organization? The Ocean Defense Coalition is an activist group. We started out working to expose unethical fishing practices, politicians who accepted bribes from oil companies, and businesses that contributed to marine pollution. Behind the scenes, we've been very successful over the years. And you and Jack were both members? We founded it. <laughs> it was a long time ago, when Jack was still passionate about saving the environment. And then once Jack got elected to city council, we had an even bigger in. He worked to promote sustainable policies from the inside, while the rest of the group tried to rally public interest in sustainable causes. But then things began to change. Jack started to feel a conflict of interest. With tourism being a boon for the hotel business, he lost his edge as our leader. The ODC floundered, and the bad seeds like Angel Fernandez started to have a bigger voice in the city council. Is that why you and Jack had been fighting? Yes. It's a big part of it. I'm upset with the choices he made. Towards the end, I felt he was not the same man I thought I had married. I still miss him. Heartbroken, we didn't get the chance to fix things. I have something to show you. It's a journal that belonged to your husband. I think you should read it. Hmm? Where did you get this? I found it in one of Jack's boxes. Please, just look through it. It explains a lot of what Jack was thinking. Maybe it will help you work through things. Lydia, he really loved you. He may or may not have been right, but he only did what he thought was best for you and your family. My Jack. I can't bear to think he's really gone. Thank you for this. You're welcome. Now please, do you know who Dolphin is? If this person met up with Jack an hour before his death, I need to speak with them. Yes. I know who Dolphin is. It's a code for a member of our crew. Who? Kaya Bowman? <gasps> Thank you. I need to go speak with her right away. But you can't really think she murdered Jack, can you? I don't know yet, but I'll find out. Please, be careful. I will. I'll talk to you later. Okay, it's Kaya. Let's go confront Kaya about meeting Jack. <laughs> Wait, she's she's gone. Do not leave the front desk unattended during your shift. We have a few guests complain recently that there was no one available to help them during their visit. Management. Hmm. Um. Kaya, Kaya Lewis. Hmm. 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 Am I clicking hmm. on the wrong one? Uh, Kaya on. It looks like Kaya was here at the time of Jack's death. Hmm. Um, am I... Huh, so I mean, this was the date of the death, right? Or was it this one? It looks like Kaya was... Hmm. Let's... Hmm. Alright, well, maybe we have to go and talk to other people. Huh. How about Angel? Thanks, bye. 
<laughs> we'll stop by the hotel and then go to the marine center. I have a feeling that's... Or the uh, marina, really. I have a feeling that's where things are about to happen. Okay, nothing here. Hmm. 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 No idea where she may be, and I don't know have the I don't have the management number. Kaya, <gasps> I wasn't expecting to find you here. What are you doing on the Del Mar's boat? I love this illustration. Marcella, nice to see you. I was just checking in to see if I could speak with Brad. It looks like he's not here, so I'll come back later. Suspicious. Actually, I've been looking for you. I have reason to believe you were the last person to speak with Jack Delmar on the day he died. He was going to meet you on the boat. I don't think you know what you're talking about. Oh, getting defensive. Yes, I do. I know that you were part of a secret society called the Ocean Defense Council, along with Jack and Lydia Delmar. Your code name is Dolphin, and you were chatting with Jack right before he died. I have the proof, and I've already shared it with Lydia. You should really stop nosing around in other people's private affairs. I love that. What's that in your hand? None of your business. It looks like a dolphin necklace. Hmm. Let me guess. You left it on the boat the last time you were here. You thought it would be incriminating, so you came back to collect it before anyone else could find it. I... So, what was it that Jack said that made you decide to murder him? I didn't murder him. It was an accident. An accident? It was awful. Jack and I were arguing about the future of the ODC. He tried to calm me down and I, I pushed him away, but he fell and he hit his head. Jack was my friend for many years. I would have never wanted anything bad to happen to him. You have to believe me. I do, but even if it was an accident, you need to own up and take responsibility for it. A life was lost. Jack had a family who loved him, and they deserved to know the truth. Please don't turn me in. You're gonna turn yourself in. I think I have to. And I think I have to do this. Oh! gotta be more fuel in here somewhere this can't be happening she's having a breakdown I need to send a message to someone before she comes back okay okay uh oh my goodness we're on a timer okay follow these steps press the blue button turn the wheel clockwise how do I do that uh yellow lever which one's yellow oh left Left, yellow button twice, gray compartment. Press the buttons in the gray compartment in order from largest to, okay. Okay. Blue, we wheel, left, yellow, <laughs> lever. <laughs> yellow, yellow, gray compartment, biggest, Two smallest. Red button three times. Turn the wheel counterclockwise. I don't know if I'm doing this correct. And then green. How do I know which way is clockwise or counterclockwise? Okay, let's try it again. Uh, blue. What did I just say? Uh, clockwise. Left lever. Yellow, yellow, gray. One, two, three, red. Right lever, counterclockwise, green. You have been rescued and Kaya has been apprehended. Do you want to turn in Lydia Delmar as well? Turn her in for the activism stuff? Let's say no. Oh, case complete. Thankfully, Brad received your distress my distress signal and shut off the boat before it could reach international waters. 
How did you do that? Was he on board? He alerted the Coast Guard, who were able to locate the boat and bring us back to shore. Kaya was apprehended. She seems deeply sorry for the role she played in Jack's accident. I'm guessing she has a long uphill legal battle ahead of her. I hope the Delamars will be able to gain some closure after learning what happened to Jack. They are planning to drive Jacqueline across the country to Darkmarth. Maybe we'll get... I keep, was I calling her Stephanie the whole time? Oh my goodness. Maybe it'll give them some time to process their loss together. I wonder if the Delmars will sell Stephanie the Forest Sands. I, I was getting Jacqueline and Stephanie's name mixed up the entire time. Oops. She could make a good new owner, and it doesn't seem like the Delmars want to run the hotel anymore. Brad suggested a deal might be on the table. I didn't tell the police about the ODC. I couldn't strip away Jacqueline's mother from her, too. Lydia has sworn her plans to disrupt the cruise ship terminal are off, and I hope she honors her word. Does doing bad things for a good cause make it okay? That's one I'll have to grapple with. I've got a week left in La Fortuna Cove to mull it over Oceanside. The end? Wow! The end. Nice! It was over so soon. Okay, I can't click anywhere. All right, well, thanks for watching. If you want to get this game, it is available for purchase. Um, just check out the link below or go to hiddenoceangames.com. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.